At EMI, we're constantly getting questions from professionals wondering if it's too late for them to get an engineering degree or it's too late for them to start the path to engineering licensure. Well, in this week's engineering management lessons video, we're going to change it up a little bit. And I have with me Tremont Smith and Tremont is a partner in an engineering firm in Mississippi, WGK. And he got a little bit of a late start on his path to become an engineer. In fact, he received his engineering degree at 27 years old. Tremont, talk to us a little bit about your journey and how people out there can still do it no matter what age they are. Well, uh, I graduated at 18 and uh, I'm, I'm actually a college dropout. Um, so I went straight into college, uh, uh, a junior college. Um, very popular, so I didn't focus like I should have. And uh, I withdrew. Um, and I was working uh, at a poultry plant and uh, it, I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do for life. So um, I uh, started back school at the age of 21. Um, I went to, uh, of course, Jackson State University. I applied, and uh, they just happened to start be starting a new program, new engineering program, as I was starting, and this is what I wanted to do. And uh, I was 21 years old when I got back in school. Um, my program lasted for five to six years. Um, it was a new program; it was under development, so some things were changing. Um, and uh, as I went through the program, you know, I kind of time kind of flew by, and you know, of course, then I was 27 and I graduated. Um, then I went to work. Uh, but while in school, um, I worked with, I, I went to school with people who were actually older than me. Uh, one gentleman had a construction business and he decided to let go his construction business. So he started, he decided to be an engineer. So um, I was in class and um, he was, I guess, uh, early forties at the time. And um, there was another gentleman, uh, he was 30. He was working on a second degree. Uh, first degree didn't quite wake, work out. So, uh, you know, I don't really see anything wrong with when you start. Uh, just be committed, dedicated, focused, and push through. Uh, it takes four years to be a licensed PE. So, sky's the limit once you once you graduate. So, it's, yeah. it's, it's, time flies. Yes, and, and I think that what. I guess the question sometimes that I get is like, I think people feel like they're behind if that happens, but to your, to what we've, and we have a full civil engineering podcast episode with Tremont that you can listen to about his entire journey to junior partner at his company. But, you know, you, you know, it's a little bit of a, a later start, but you got going with it. And like you said, once you get that degree, you get, you know, four years working, you can get your professional engineering license. And then, you know, nobody can take that away from you. You have that for your career and you can work on it and you can develop it. And for you, it sounds like when you were working at that poultry plant, you really, you know, you just, that's not what you wanted to settle for in your career. No, not at all. And so. that pushed you to take that next step. Yes. Yes. And, um, you know, um, I guess I never, I never worried about it being too late for me. Uh, I have looked at it in, in a, I guess when you look at it like this, if I had, a, if I had a started school earlier on time, I may not be a partner today. If I had started three years later, I may not be a partner today. So uh, it doesn't matter when you start, just get started, you know, uh, sky's the limit. Yeah, no, I, 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 I hear you. I always tell my kids, everything that happens to you is the best possible thing that can happen to you. And like yes. you said, when you started was the right time, the program started at the school, you got yes. into it and you got yourself in a great position. So yes. thank you so much for kind of sharing a little bit of your journey. I hope that people listening that are, you know, on the fence about, you know, is it too late for me to get into engineering? The answer is no, no. regardless of what age you is. Cause I believe that as Tremont has said here, as an engineer, there are so many opportunities that are out there for you. It just requires some hard work, some dedication, like anything in life to get that engineering degree and get that license. And if you do it, there'll be many opportunities. So Tremont, thanks again so much for sharing your story. Thank you for having me. Anthony.